number six with cheese, we're in the kitchen and we're sponsored by Incredibles, making the peanut butter Buddha bacon smash burger. Yeah, and you know if we're getting a little Incredible sponsorship, we gotta be using the Incredible Edibles Incredibles peanut butter Buddha bar. A hundred milligram THC bar sectioned off into little 10 milligram pieces of that peanut buttery pretzely goodness. I like your dance moves, thank you. So you're probably thinking, I mean, how did you two idiots come up with this recipe? I mean, you're writing recipes now? Yeah, we had a little cookout, a little barbecue a couple weeks ago, and uh, we had a little bit of the Incredibles Mon Chéri gummies. 100 milligrams, they're in little 10 milligram pieces. You're, you're finding a theme here. We popped a couple of these bad boys. Uh, they take about 30 to 90 minutes. We're normally around 60 minutes for these to kick in. It's the perfect time for you to kind of prep everything after you take one of these, and everything's ready to go, and by the time this kicks in, you're also having a delicious burger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the ingredients. First up, obviously, you need the Incredibles Peanut Butter Buddha 100 milligram bar. Next up, we got one pound of 80-20 ground beef. Then, four slices of that American cheese. Then, sag yourself four strips of bacon. We like to cut them in halves. Two potato buns. After that, grab yourself some melted butter and everything bagel seasoning. Half of a white chopped onion. Next up, you're gonna wanna grab yourself two serrano peppers. Take one and a half of those and dice them up. Grab that other half and give it a slice. Eighth of a cup soy sauce. Next thing we got on the list is cooking oil of your preference. Just enough to coat your pan. One tablespoon of salt. Then two tablespoons of pepper. An eighth of a cup of light brown sugar. And lastly, you're gonna want two ounces of peanut butter. All right, you guys ready? So excited for this. Incredible, so excited. Uh, first up, first step, we're gonna candy that bacon. Snag your four slices, and we're gonna put brown sugar on every strip, front and back, and then black pepper, front and back, every strip, you get it. Don't forget to firmly press in your goodies. Makes it stick better. And then of course, place it on your wire rack. If you thought you were going to put the plate in the oven, you're a big dumb idiot. And please stop cooking. Oh, we gotta preheat the oven. Preheat the oven. <laughs> But for real though, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And if you do it before you do all this stuff, it'll time out right. Otherwise, you're gonna look like an idiot and have to wait. But hey, we're never claimed we're smart. Sometimes the perfect duos makes mistakes. Okay, next up, we're gonna take our buns. This is a Cory Wagner classic. It's something I invented. No one else in the history of mankind's ever done it. I'm sure of that. I, I probably came up with it while I was on some uh, Incredibles Mon Cherie gummies. Mon Cherie. What you do is, we're gonna take these buns right here. We got this melted butter right there. And then I am obsessed with it. And Sean is actually the one who told me about this. Mm -hmm. That they sell everything bagel seasoning, which is the best seasoning of all time. It is. Ranked. You get this, you get a little Bob Ross action here. You're gonna wanna take your brush and you're gonna wanna coat. Look at that, that's a beautiful bun. That's just a little, you're just painting a little beautiful bun with a little bit of beautiful butter. Is it gonna clog your heart? Maybe, but that's all right. Hey, there's only happy mistakes here, guys. Paint this bad boy right there. Get a little, I like butter, I'm like Paula Dean. I like to really get it nice and loud. No one watching this show thinks you don't like butter. It's true. And then we're just going to, some would say like maybe a pinch of this. No, I like to go aggressive. So we're gonna really cover this guy with these. Whoops. Damn, dude, that's a lot on one bun, but I like the way you do this. The thing is, is a lot of times, a lot of these will fall off, and mm -hmm. it just tastes so good, you're gonna want a lot. We're just gonna finish off with a quick one of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to Corey's credit, look what he did. This is a masterpiece. Always everything but the bagel, your buns. In life and in cooking. All right, now we've come to the part where you gotta make meatballs. You're gonna do a little bit of a hand mixture. We're gonna put in the beef. No. And Let's he, do it. He I'm did, ready. He did wash his hands this week. The beef, the soy sauce, the serrano peppers, the onions, and the salt, and the rest of your pepper into the bowl, and you're gonna mix like you know what you're doing. I'm just prepping my belly. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get it warmed up. All right, now I'm gonna get my hands deep in there. Did you wash your hands? Respit it. Did you wash your, no, don't respit. I'll wash my hands real quick. 
Okay, just a fold. I like the fold maneuver. Yeah. And we'll put more of this here and we'll fold. You wanna fold in your beef. Fold in your beef. Beef folds. Oh, dude, I think this cow's dead. <clears throat> Claire, here's the thing as a videographer. Is this the most visually appealing part of the episode? No, it is not. But you gotta go through hell to get to heaven. <laughs> Wow, dude, you're yeah. a poet. All right, does this seem properly like mixed in? What well, your your dad's a butcher? You should know. Should we call him? Yeah, FaceTime. Big. Hey, how's this beef looking? Okay, so do I just uh, split this in half, basically? Yeah. So here's what you do. So you're gonna take these and you're gonna make four even, evenly sized balls, and that's why we have the old food scale right here, so you can make sure they're each four ounces. All right, that's four perfectly sectioned off balls that Corey made. So do it like this. Ignore that light over there. We're gonna put the bacon in now. So you're gonna do 25 minutes, and then halfway through, you're gonna turn the pan 180 degrees. All right, so we got a little flat top griddle out that we plugged in here. Great for smashing them. So we're gonna put a little uh, canola slash vegetable oil on this thing. Do it and smash. Take it away. All right. Okay, yeah, let's move it over a little bit though. Oh my gosh, I bet these are gonna go quick. Yeah, it's only like one to two minutes a side. And then when you flip it, you put your cheese on right away. Bro, this bacon's not gonna be close to ready. Do we need to stop doing this and wait? Quick, make a decision. Probably. Yes. We'll be back for you later. All right, got the buns. We're gonna throw it in with the bacon. Three, four, five minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't burn your buns. It's pretty, or maybe it's done. Pretty done. It looks good, we can take them out. I trust you. Yeah, I'd say these are done. I mean, look at that, it's sizzling, it's dancing, it's saying hi, thanks for coming. Wow. Little applause. You cooked me perfect. Nice you job, perfect. yay. Also, after a mon cherry, you might think your bacon's talking to you. That's a good thing, though. All right, hello, welcome to Sean Melt Stuff. Hey, I can cook too. Only when I take one thing and melt it into a, you know, like a, you get it. All right, we're gonna take our peanut butter, we're gonna put it right in our saucepan right here. Do you so, want some close-ups of this? this um, once I'm stirring, let's okay, do some okay. close-ups. That was really nice of you though, man, thanks. Hey, you're welcome. So that's gonna kind of start, you're gonna continuously stir, but this is like kind of the moment of truth, guys. We get to finally kind of unbox this. That doesn't do anything. You're not, it's... I've seen cooks do that on the TV. Yeah, well. not with peanut butter. Well. All right, little chocolatey peanut butter pretzel coating. All right, you ready for this yes, reveal? Yes, I am. Okay, ready? Whoa, dude. Ooh. Oh, oh, let me see. Look, they even got their like logo in the plastic. Wait, 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 logo in the plastic? They got the logo on the peanut butter, bro. Oh yeah, and it's etched into the peanut butter. Each look at that. square. Look at that. Like Corey said, look at that. It's etched on there. So you know you're having 10 milligrams. So for this recipe, Specifically, specifically, we're each doing 10 milligrams on our burgers. So we're gonna t take two of these. Dude. Again, look at the pretzels in the thing. That looks tasty. Look at the definition, guys. Look at the flex. Look at the look at the striations. And then here's what this looks like. There, look at that. All right, so snap and drop. Boom. Take your spatula and just start melting. So now you got creamy peanut butter mixed with Incredibles peanut butter Buddha. Dude. All I can think about, and this burger's gonna be amazing, but imagine drizzling this over ice cream. Oh, I can't imagine that, because I'd have to leave. Also, like over waffles, like a chicken and waffles oh, recipe. Oh, dude. We gotta do another recipe video soon. Okay, we got uh, two of the half burgers already done. We're getting back to the burgers because we made a mistake, because we're dumb. Here we go, we're gonna throw these other bad boys on, and let's go. Whew. And then the press. All right, we got the burgers going. I got the smoke. This is a nice exfoliation moment. You can get your face over this, the onion, the burger grease. It's gonna open your pores up and then you're gonna wake up tomorrow with a lot of zits. <laughs> wow, sometimes honesty isn't the best policy. Oh yeah, I think I gotta flip this. All right, we get the flip and then right away, instantly you wanna throw your cheese on so we can get it nice and melted. We're working against the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, those are going. I'm mixing the peanut butter. I'm checking the bun. I'm looking at the bacon. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Look at this, dude. This cheese is melted so perfectly. This is unbelievable. I can't believe my whole life I have in this griddle and I've never made a smash burger on here. I'm an idiot. 
All right, first up, you gotta start with the peanut butter. Get both buns, and I don't mean both sandwiches, I mean both buns, top and bottoms. Next part of the uh, burger building, I like to put bacon on the bottom, and then it kind of holds itself in there. This is candy bacon, don't forget. Gosh darn, this is looking delicious. Four slices. Is it too much? It's never too much. Oh, wait a second. We're doing double smashies. What am I, fool? I was about to make funny. Boom. Remove two of those slices of bacon. Put the first burger meat, then the next two slices of bacon, then the next, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a double bacon smash burger with peanut butter boda, baby. These look unbelievable. They look so good. Uh, I'm really hurt and injured. Don't, uh, no, 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 I don't trust you. Both, oh, my whole body, just woof. Uh, sexy montage? Yeah, a sexy montage. Before you eat, don't forget, we got these little uh, Serrano peps ready to garnish. I, I don't want to toot our own horn, but I'm blowing our horn hard. This turned out even better than I thought it was going to. And also, if you think, oh, peanut butter and pretzels on a burger, that sounds weird. It's not weird. It's incredible. And you should seriously do it. Putting peanut butter on salty stuff is is the way of the future. I've never I've never had this. I've never had a peanut butter burger before. This is about to be my first time. Oh, cool! Your life's about to change. Yeah. All right, Corey. Time to feast. Uh, see you guys.